Hey TD Superheroes, this is Alejandro Perez, your sidekick. And in this video, we're going to continue on with the face rig we've been working on. And we are going to start connecting things onto the actual movement for these controllers. We do have the blend shapes attached to the face. We just want to be able to control them or control at least some of them with this. So let's take a look at setting that up. So over here, let's just make this bigger for now. We're going to spend a little bit of time here. This section here is where we're connecting the blend shapes to the controllers right now and we're adding them as attributes. And here is this attach blend shape to control. So something that I'm noticing right away is that these two lines are happening every time and the control name we are already seeing that it is attached there so we can actually just type that in there. We don't need a variable necessarily for that at this point or we can keep that line and then attach it there and then use it elsewhere but what I'm going to start doing right now and we're going to have to tweak this again later but take those two lines paste them here and then we can get rid of them on every other line of the function just makes it a little bit cleaner so that way we can make updates a little bit easier I think that is it. So now that we've done that, we, let's just test everything really quick. And make sure that it works. So we need to clear the scene and then run the code. That's gonna take a second. And then once it's done, we should be able to see that we didn't output any errors. So let's look at the bottom here. We have some warnings, that's okay for now. And it looks like we have all of our attributes there. So that is good. Okay. So we have everything still working. Now we need to be able to look at how are we going to assign this onto the translate. So right now we have the blend name, which is the blend shape that is attached to the base mesh, the object name, which is the blend shape, and then the control name, which is the control that it is going to. So what we can do, because over here we're the control attribute that we're creating, we are assigning it just the object name, but if we had the attribute name like translate X and or translate Y, then we could actually swap it out for this. So we're going to need another argument here. And then let's say this is adder name. And then with these controls, because they are four-way controls, we need a positive and negative direction. We need a positive and negative direction. So let's do negative, or sorry, not negative one. We will do direction, which will give us a positive or negative number. So with the adder name right now, we can swap this for this here. So we still need the object name, but we have an attribute name now too. So all of these functions here, we need to include the attribute name. So all of these that are currently there are going to be the object name, which makes things a little bit easy for us. Let's copy this here. 
Oops. Okay. Now we have the object name. And again, anytime I make a big change like that, I want to... Oh, we need one more thing before uh, we go any further because it's actually asking for another attribute at the end for the direction. And let's just make these one. So if I would have thought that at the beginning, I could have done it at the same time. But I have to go back and paste these all in. Okay. And we haven't implemented the direction yet, but we will. So let's take a look at running this. Again, clear the scene. Create face rig. Okay, so let's double check that we didn't get an error. No errors, that is good. And let's double check that we have all of these attributes in there. We do. Okay. So now we have that. So let's implement the direction since we have that in there now. So the set adder for the control is going to be times Alright, sorry. DR times one. So it will take the direction. It's either going to be a positive one, multiply it by one, or a negative one, multiply it by one, and then it will change it to the negative direction. Okay. So how are we going to start getting? these items onto the controller. So what we're going to do to be able to do that, so let's take a look at the brow raise. I'm going to copy this because I know that's the actual object that I want to affect for the brow. And I think that was the left side. If not, we'll switch it over here. So if left, it creates the control name then we can add another condition so if obj name is equal to that blend shape then we will do this but we're going to slightly tweak it so what are we going to do this is going to be ty in the positive direction and then at this point we don't have anything else so we'll say else we do this okay so let's create the face rig here oops we need to clear the scene first and then now let's create the face rig Okay, so the left brow, we should have gotten oops, some information there. Let's see. Why is it not? It looks like there is an issue with the left brow now. We can see that the controller wasn't built out correctly. You can see all the other attributes got in there just fine. Here we have some issues. So the frame and the brow are over here. They have been unparented from wherever these are. Okay, let me pause and I'll be right back once I see what's going on. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to fix it, but I know it's things that we need to update. Actually, no. We don't need to, to do that. Here, this is the one. Over here with the add attribute. 
and the select. We are trying to add attribute to even the ones that are being brought in as an attribute here. So we want to be able to filter that here. So what we're going to say is if obj name is equal to adder name, then we will do these two things because we don't need to do it when we are doing the items on the TX and the TY. And that might be why it broke it, but let's take a look at setting this up now and see if it breaks it. So clear the face rig and then let's create it again. The sign that we'll know that something is working properly or at least better. Okay, we don't have those things unparented. We're hiding the face. Let's see a moment of truth. So this is the left brow and we're affecting the left eye. This is good. The only thing in the future that we'll need to update is the swapping the right and left where they're actually positioned because even though this is screen left, it's the characters right and it's a little bit more intuitive if I'm able to make that comparable. But we can see as we go up, the eyebrow goes up. Right now, if we go down, nothing happens. So the next one that we'll do is the left drop. And basically, we're going to put a else if or an LF, sorry, then basically we need that and we need the object name. So if the object name is equal to obj name brow drop blend, then we are going to run this command again. The only thing is that this is going to be in the negative one direction. Okay. So let's test this out. Select the head, clear the scene, select the head, create face rig. And then when it brings up the, the face rig, we should be able to move it up, it raises the left brow, move it down and it will bring the brow down. Cool. Okay. We are looking good here. Now we need to do right and left. So what are we going to do for right and left? We have the inner race. So we're going to do that this way and the outer race. So we have inner rays blend and outer rays blend. So let's take a look at doing those. Inner rays, which is going to be in the negative x direction, I believe. Yep. So else if obj name is equal to the inner left rays. What are we going to do? We are going to, it's the negative direction, so we'll copy this one. And instead of ty, it's going to be tx. Okay, so here, let's select the head, clear the scene. Uh, I think I did that, but I want to double check that I did update it and then create face rig. And then now we should have three of the four directions done. 
once the finish is compiling all the blend shapes. So, up, down, negative x. And then if we do this direction, we can kind of see where it's starting to work. Okay. And then, now, let's copy this. So I have the whole section here and then I'm going to do the outer braze for the left so I can get copy that paste this and then this is going to be in the positive X okay run the code select the head clear the scene select the head again face rig okay so now and just so that we can see this a little bit easier later on we will do this but I gotta remember the order I think it's that's the order we're gonna do a, a wrap deformer wrap there we go if I did it the right direction that will move So looking at this, when I go in, I kind of want to do the opposite of what I got now. Actually, no, that's fine. That is what I want. That gives us kind of the ability to control all the different motions that we want. Okay. So we have that off for the left eye and then let's just really quickly do the right eye as well. So what I'm going to do is copy all of this and that's going to go to the right brow. So it's going to be pasted here got an extra C so let's do that and then all the L's are going to be switched over to R's and then I'm also going to switch the X direction so that way we get the movement happening in the inverse okay so let's select the head. Oops, before I do that, let's reset this so that we don't bake in the animation. Now let's reset the head, select the head, create the face rig. Okay, so here we get this one. And here we get this one. Oops. So take both. Cool. And push them in towards the center. So we get all of the expressions that we want with the brow. And then with these controls, because we only have four right now. We can see that there's no extra attributes. Some will have extra attributes at the bottom if you have extra movements. And some will not. So the mouth, you'll see we have more than four. So we're actually going to have a lot of extra controls on here. The nose here, we only have a sneer for both the left and the right so left and right so we need to kind of look at what we're going to do with that if we have any extra blend shapes we can bring them in I might do that but what I am going to do now is in between lessons I'll connect the blend shapes that I feel appropriate for each one of the controls so you guys can do that on your own and in the next video I'll show you guys 
where I've connected everything. We can do a little walkthrough before we continue on with the rest of the rig, but it's just going to be exactly the same that we have here, except choosing the corresponding blend shapes that you need for the face or the mouth and things like that. The only one that's going to be different is the mouth. So we have the mouth there, but you'll see that we don't really have a mouth open. And we want to be able to open and close the mouth here. So we're going to actually create a skeleton that will open and close the mouth for us. And we'll drive that with this controller. All right, so I'm going to save the script and we'll see you guys in the next video.